Hey there, everybody. Welcome. This is Sharon Peterson, and welcome to Quiet Ambitions. I got a new poultry coop, chicken coop. It's actually for our guineas. Um, we needed a place to put the guineas at night. They were roosting in areas that we didn't want them, and so we wanted to train them to come in here, and it's been working perfectly. Throw a little cracked corn in there at night, and they all go in, and they love it. They actually hang out in there if I don't shut the door and keep them out during the day. So I just wanted to show it to you in keeping with the whole rustic theme. If you guys remember, my husband earlier in the summer built me a rustic looking greenhouse. We'll put a link to that here so you can go check it out. This is the same thing. This is all wood that um, Tim harvested. He then cut it on, the, on our sawmill and built the chicken coop out of it. It's wood that he's learned on and so it's imperfect. My ducks are making noise. Do any of you have very vocal ducks? Anyway, hopefully you can still hear me. So, Tim harvested this, cut it on the sawmill. It's wood that he's learning on, and so it's a little imperfect, and it's, so per it's perfect for this chicken coop. So, I love it. Um, he's got rough edge trim on it. We have a tin roof. Um, I'm too short. I can't show you, but if you will click on the link, I'll have pictures of that below as well. And so let me give you a quick tour. I'm actually getting ready to um, put, a, put a sealer on the wood to protect it from the elements. And I have a trick for that and I'll show you that as well. So this is the front of the coop. And um, like I said, Tim did a really neat looking kind of a live edge trim around the roof there. The wood is all from trees from our forest or from our woods. We got a big window there. The other side look exactly the same in the back. And let me show you the inside. All of this hardware I think came from Rural King if I remember. We got a pretty just a simple latch. And look what he did for me. He actually divided the inside in half. Right now we don't have a chicken door yet, but the plan is to put a chicken door in the bottom so that I can shut this screen. The chickens will in, be in the back and in the front here I can have my grain, supplies, whatever I need. Um, we still need to be need to um, get all that done. We put linoleum on the floor for easy cleanup. I still need to add more bedding. Um, they love the perches. The guineas really like to perch high and so we put some perches up here as high as we could into the rafters and that's where they all go. So they really like it. And I love this idea of having it this shut. Um, this hardware actually came from some old windows that we picked up secondhand off of Craigslist. Craigslist or Marketplace, I don't remember which. Oh, I forgot to show you the ventilation. So I was real concerned about ventilation. Of course, we have the windows. But then up here, there is actually space between... Um, the roof, can't tell from that angle. This angle you can tell better. There's space between the roof and the wall there. And so there's ventilation like all the way around the top of the roof. So that gives us plenty of ventilation for the winter here, but yet they're protected from any winds that are gonna happen. So I am getting ready to protect the wood. I don't wanna change the color. I don't wanna paint it. And so we're just gonna do, um, we just chose this clear wood protector. It's an oil. Um, we, this is the Cabot brand. There's lots of different brands available out there. The part that I'm excited to tell you about is this. I have a weed sprayer, fertilizer sprayer, whatever you want to call it, a garden sprayer. And this is what I'm using to put the stain, or not the stain, it's not a stain, it's clear, to, to put it onto the, the shed. And it's working really, really well. Now, of course, I'll have to be aware that I'm gonna mark this container, make sure that I know not to use any kind of fertilizers for my garden again. But this is making the job so fast. So let me go ahead and show you how I do it. And so I'm just going to continue doing that on around the whole building and um, 
seems to be working great. You guys have a great day. We will talk to you in the next video. Bye.